What's poppin' you guys? It's your man Just J Sama, and I'm back with another video. So today, I just wanted to make a quick, just a talking point video, and just talk about my, you know, thoughts and opinions a little bit about the PlayStation 5. Before we get into today's video, make sure you hit that like button so that way you can show YouTube, yeah, I'm really into this type of content. Please give my man some clout. Uh, also, subscribe to the channel if you are new. And also, when you do subscribe, make sure to turn on that notification bell so that way you can be notified whenever any of my content goes live. But with that being said, let's jump into today's video. Watching Now, it's coming in a couple of weeks, and uh, I don't know if any of you guys are prepared because I definitely am not, um, meaning I'm broke. I'm poor i am money deficient okay <laughs> money inefficient all right let me just tell you that uh i could not acquire a uh pre-order for the ps5 uh not only could i not acquire a pre-order but i had no intentions of pre-ordering a ps5 now um I don't know if some of you guys are like me and you just don't get consoles on launch. You have too many dead on arrival parts and just all sorts of chaos that can happen when it comes to day one launch consoles. I feel like we're a little bit past that in 2020, but then again, I don't put it past anyone ever at all. I've been burned many a times by many a consoles day one when it came to picking them up, but here we are, a launch of another one. And not only that, it just feels like this doesn't feel like much of an upgrade really because a lot of the graphical changes are not what we're kind of used to when it comes to generational console jumps like from playstation 1 to playstation 2 huge graphical change huge technological change ps2 to ps3 even more of a huge change all throughout the entire like gaming sphere at one time and then from ps3 to ps4 the games only got bigger and better and now with ps4 to ps5 it just really feels like this isn't much of a technological jump uh too much even though the ps5 and xbox whatever the hell it's called the mini fridge uh i i only say that not to disrespect xbox or to crack a joke or anything but I genuinely don't know what it's called. Is it Xbox Series X, Xbox uh, One? No, the other one is Xbox One. Okay, so I figured it out. X Project Xbox, whatever it is, hey, it's the same situation. So I feel like specifically for these, there's not a huge graphical jump, so I don't necessarily need to get one. Games still look amazing on PS4 and Xbox One, so we're not really worried about it necessarily. So it's not too many things that need to change, and I'm not expecting a whole lot, honestly. I'm expecting more of the same that we got in this previous generation in the next one. And I don't mean like, oh, okay, like with graphics and stuff like that. I mean more like business practices. Like we're still gonna get the same whole DLC, games as a live service, all of this other crap and gimmicky bullshit that we've had to deal with in the gaming industry for many a years now. And so, you know, I'm just uh, not really expecting much, <laughs> but that's just me. Uh, another reason I'm not getting the PS5 is, uh, I obviously can't afford it. That's a huge, huge price jump right now. I mean, given I did spend almost $1,300 on my computer, but that's my computer. You know what I mean? Like there's a whole different level of like, this is a completely different thing. It's not like just for games or anything like that. Like that's how I create content and all this other stuff. So it's, it's helpful. I mean, I feel bad for a lot of people that paid $400, $500 in the last gen just to get an Xbox One and use it as a Netflix Hulu machine. Like, that sucks. That doesn't sound fun. I wouldn't want to be a part of that. So that's just, but that's just me. Uh, I particularly, and this is speaking on the financial portion, I can't afford five games as they come out not during a pandemic oh no <laughs> not me not at all i i'm not a real youtuber i don't got money like that i just really can't make it happen at all i'm sorry i just can't so but other than that i mean when it comes to and i guess this leads to my third point there's no there's no games there's not enough games i mean it's cool godfall miles morales and all the other few ps4 games that are going to be on ps5 all right, that's cool. That's great. But 
where are the new new games? You know, like I feel like a game that would have been amazing to come out with the PS5 but is nowhere near done is Elden Ring. That would have been cool. I mean, we have the Demon Souls remake, but listen, I played Demon Souls when it was like, you know, a prominent time to play it a long time ago. It had came out, Dark Souls came out. I was like, hey, let me let me give this Demon Souls game a try. And it was fun. I mean, it was the most aggravating game I've ever played in my entire life. But hey, I mean, it is what it is. And I'm sure there's a whole lot of features and other stuff on the PS5 that it's like, hey, here's a really good reason to still get a PS5. But if they pertain to a lot of the features and stuff that the PS4 could do, then I'm kind of not seeing that as a bonus. I don't know. Maybe you guys can tell me. I really want to know your opinions down in the comment section. Are you guys, like, I'm hyped for the PS5. It, it, I mean, it's cool. It's dope. Yeah, awesome. We're getting a fifth version of the PlayStation. And I, you know what? If this sounds a little shallow and a little vague, that's because that's how I feel about it. I'm trying to assess my feelings and where I'm really at while making this video because saying these things out loud about the things that I am or I am not excited for, it's kind of hard for me to even believe myself. So, you know, it's just a few things that I'm just like, all right, you know what? Worst case scenario, I don't get a PS5 launch. Okay, cool, no problem. When am I planning to get a PS5? I would have to say within the first year, maybe? I, I would have loved to see an infamous game. Oh my god, if, if Ghost of Shus Tsushima didn't come out, <laughs> uh, we would have easily had an infamous 3 on launch with the PlayStation 5. That would have been just so great, but I mean, we're not, we're not there yet, so... Uh, you know, if, the, if Sucker Punch wants to get on it, that would be that would be really nice. But anyway, uh, that leads me to my next point why I'm not getting a PS5. It's just not the right climate right now. And I, I guess I can only speak for me. Uh, and this is kind of a financial and a situation about like speaking to life. We're in the middle of a goddamn pandemic right now. There's there's absolutely no way. I mean, with all the price gouging and all the other stuff, man, there's there's absolutely no way I'm able to get a PS5. The the scarcity at which these pre-orders were available, terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. I just I don't see it for myself to be able to have one of those. It's big as shit. Like, I don't know if you guys have seen the images of what a PS5 looks like, but it's huge. Okay, these things are not, it's not tiny, it's not small. There's absolutely no way I'm gonna, uh, you know, be able to have that in my house. But I mean, hey, you know, if I wanted a giant router, I'd just, you know, go ahead and get this thing. But I'd have to say for the time being, PlayStation really has me on this hook about, and I guess this leads to my last point, PlayStation has me in this weird space of like, okay, what else are you doing aside from your games? Now, you see, this is where I kind of give Xbox the leg up, and of course, you guys will stone me for saying this, but Xbox really has a more appealing look to me right now, because with Xbox Game Pass being able to be played on PC, and I can play all of these great Xbox games that I've never had access to, at a moment's notice, like I can play whatever, whenever I want. Getting me in that ecosystem seems more like what Microsoft is into. Whereas PlayStation is just like, here's the hardware, we have software, that's the way they've always been. Uh, that's why the Vita was disrespected the way it was. That's why the uh, the PlayStation app stuff was disrespected the way it was. Now, now that they've had the PlayStation app revamped, I would like to see a similar situation with the Vita. Revive the Vita. They gave it almost no support. And I know I'm one of the few Vita fans out there, but I feel like in this current time, like the remote play and the way everything is, the Vita could be such a good tool for the PlayStation 5. I really think their UI and engineers and everybody else that they have, all of their techs, they could really get together to make a, a core piece of owning a PlayStation 5 also having a Vita. Get us in the ecosystem. There's Xbox is doing everything they can to make sure you have an Xbox product somewhere. They don't care what it is, how you get it, you need to be a part of the Xbox family. And it just seems like PlayStation is not doing their best to do that. They're kind of just like, hey, take it how it is. This is, you know who we are. You know why we're here, which is cool because they do have the, you know, the chops to do that. But I just, 
I'm not feeling it this time around. I'm just really not. But that's just my personal opinion. I know this video was all over the place, but let me know you guys' thoughts down in the comment section below. I really, really want to know, are you guys getting a PS5 day one? Uh, if not, why? Or if you are thinking about getting a PS5 day one, or what the situation may be, or maybe you just want an Xbox and you want to be part of the conversation. Let me know down in the comment section. I'm very interested to find out you guys' thoughts. Let's make this a real conversation. All of the dope comments, I'm actually probably going to make a whole nother separate video just for responding to those because I feel like a lot of you guys are going to have valid things to say. So I'm very interested in that. But with that being said, make sure you guys like today's video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new guys only 20% I, I I cannot urge this enough only 20% of the people that are subscribed to me have notifications turned on so I'm gonna need you guys to not only click that subscribe button hit the bell icon and then make sure all notifications are turned on so that way you guys know exactly when I'm live streaming when I'm uploading or when I whenever I'm announcing a new project you guys will definitely know and if that doesn't work for you fine I get it follow me on social media my Twitter is down in the description below there's a link to it it, click it go ahead and follow me on all of my socials that's how you get all of the news updates for everything i ever do guys i i'm very excited for the ps5 but that excitement is also very limited let me know what you guys think and until next time make sure to keep it canon